City under-19s are through to the UEFA Youth League knockout stages after a fantastic away performance capped by a Thierry Ambrose brace. Both teams came into this encounter unbeaten on seven points and the game had a lively start with the poor quality pitch playing a part in the succession of early chances. City had to weather a spate of severe pressure in the opening minutes, culminating in a pair of good saves from keeper Daniel Grimshaw, who did particularly well to deny Raul on 10 minutes with a low save to his right. However, Sevilla's defence was breached on the 20-minute mark with a brilliant individual goal from Ambrose, who fired the ball past the hand of the despairing Sevilla keeper. The hosts weren't prepared to lie down, however, and the start of the second half mirrored that of the first, with Sevilla getting the ball in dangerous positions. Were it not for the intervention of Maffeo, they would have levelled within minutes, but City's right-back made a crucial goal-line block from Sanchez. The antics of the closing stages were sparked by a kick in the face that sent Keane Bryan sprawling to the turf. The altercation which followed saw Brian see red, while aggressor Raul collected a yellow card for his troubles before Elisio was correctly sent off for a poor challenge after already being booked in the first half. It marred an entertaining game, but fortunately the final word went to Ambrose, who was justly rewarded when David Fopala squared the ball for his compatriot to make it 2-0 in the final minute of normal time. It was a brilliant away performance from Patrick Vieira's young charges, who will now seek to finish the job to be sure of top spot going into the next round. Final score from Spain, Sevilla 0, City 2. Yeah, I thought the boys did really well um, in terms of the way they focused on the game. Um, we knew that we were playing against a well-organised side um, and, a, and, a, and a pitch that wasn't the, really suited to, to play um, out from the bat that we usually like to try and do. So we had to kind of mix our game up a little bit as well. Um, there's some really good individual performances within that, but uh, overall, even the, the, the players that came off the bench, everyone played a, a real big part into, in, in the victory. Jerry, congratulations, both a great individual and team performance today. Yeah, it was a great match. It was a little bit difficult because uh, we finished at 10 man, but I'm quite happy with the way we, we finished the game. And uh, we still, uh, at the, what Patrick said, we need to be together all the game. It was, it was, it was hard, the pitch wasn't, uh, wasn't good, but uh, we, we still uh, get the free points, so I'm, I'm happy. Okay, unfortunate, Sam, to finish the game with, with 10 men. Just what did you make of, of the sending off? Yeah, I mean, our physios have gone on the pitch. kean has gone down after a challenge with a head injury and he's been asked to leave the field, although the physios are trying to treat him for a head injury and he should stay on the field. So along with uh, a couple of players, yeah, you know, from the opposition getting stuck into the, stuck into the situation and uh, not making it easy for the referee. And he's made a call and, in our opinion, not, not the right one. But, uh, you know, these things happen. And again, it's just another test of... Uh, uh, of the of the players' mantle, if you like, and the way they're going to deal with these situations in the future. So again, a great experience all round, and and help with the victory. Like for a living, for sure, and but for me, it's still a game. I still see it like as a game, as when I was a kid going in the street and playing football.